Tonight is a very interesting night because we have more news on Supreme Darkness. And it is going to be on brand new Christron support. And we have five total cards, so let's get right into it. So first off, let's take a look at the brand new level 2 tuner. It is Christron Trice Taros. Level 2 Water Machine Tuner Effect Monster, 800 attack, 2000 defense, and you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. When your opponent activates a card or effect, quick effect, you can special summon one Christron monster from your deck, except Christron Trice Taros. Then immediately after this effect resolves, synchro summon one machine monster using that monster you control. You can banish this card from your graveyard, destroy one synchro monster you control, then special summon two Christron monsters from your deck. Also, you cannot special summon for the rest of the turn, except of machine monsters. Overall, this is actually a very powerful card for Christron because it is an actual starter plus extender. So, honestly, this is a mandatory 3 of when you want to run the deck. So, after that, let's get into our brand new extender of the deck, being an upgrade of Sulfurnix, being Christron Sulfadol. It is a level 5 water machine effect monster, 1900 attack, and 2500 defense. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can target one Christron card you control, destroy it, then special summon this card. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except machine monsters. If this card is normal or special summon, you can send up to two Christron cards with different names from your deck to the graveyard, except Sulfadol. So this card literally gets you every single thing that you need off of one single summon, which is really useful, especially with the new continuous spell that we have in the deck. Being able to dump two names for free is actually a godsend for the deck, and it fixes a lot of things that the deck had issues with by getting names into the graveyard. So now you can send things like Phoenix and even Sulfonir literally for free, which is very nice, or even a lot of the other non-tuners that you have too. Afterwards, let's take a look at the brand new Synchro Monster the deck is getting, and this is what you're supposed to go with the two new cards into, and realistically, it's a very powerful Synchro Monster for the deck being Christron, Elexkeletas. It is a level 7 Water Machine Synchro Effect Monster, 2600 attack and 2100 defense. One tuner plus one non-tuner monster, so very generic. You can only use the first and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is Synchro Summoned, you can add one Christron card from your Graveyard of Banishment to your hand. Monster your opponent controls will lose 500 attack and defense. And if this Synchro Summoned card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can Special Summon one Christron monster from your Graveyard or Banishment. So this is another card that you can realistically just pop with your new Sulfur and get a free another body. So realistically, overall, it is really good of a boss monster because it gets you cards back from your Graveyard of Banishment. Because that's what Christron does. They can quick synchro by using cards on the field, I believe in the graveyard as well, and banishing them. So this is one good way to recover stuff. And realistically, seeing this as a card is really great for the deck since they actually really needed it. So now after that, let's get into the new spell card, which is actually <laughs> really good. Uh, Christron Inclusion. It is a continuous spell card, and you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. You can only use the third effect of this card's name once per turn. When this card resolves, you can add one Christron card from your deck to your hand, except Christron Inclusion. The first time each of your Christron monsters will be destroyed by battle each turn, it is not destroyed. And you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one Christron monster in your graveyard, special summon it. So, realistically, how powerful this card is, this gets your Sulfur, the new Sulfur, and... Then you pop it, summon out the Sulfur, get your two sends, banish this, target a Cursed Run in your graveyard, summon it, Synchro into your seven, and then you get whatever you banished. You get this back, so you can use it for the next turn, or you can use whatever you need that you get from your graveyard, because you could send your Trice, so you could just combo off. And it's realistically a one-card combo for Cursed Run, and this is going to be very crazy to support at the end of all of this because it fixes some of the issues that the deck has. So finally let's get into the brand new Christron Cluster Continuous Trap. You can only use the second effect of this card's name only once per turn. Christron cards you control cannot be banished by your opponent's effects. This is great against evenly matched that solves an issue that the deck had and the second effect is you can target one face-up card on the field or up to two instead of if you control a Christron Synchro Monster Special summon one 
Christron card from your graveyard or your banishment except Christron cluster into the deck, and if you do, destroy the targeted cards. So realistically, this is a Radiance of the Voiceless Voice, but better because this doesn't leave the field, and you could do this every single turn. As long as you have cards that you could shuffle back into the deck from your graveyard or your banished pile. And realistically, this is a very good trap card, and I definitely see it being a staple one of. Most of these cards are definitely a three of, two of, but this is going to be your special one of that you can get to the graveyard very quickly with the brand new support. But I want to know what you guys think about the new Christron cards that we see in Supreme Darkness, and let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments below. But anyways, I've been Bolt Spider. See you guys in the next video, and goodbye.